Now I'm going to try and make you... Oh, Patty's here as well. Patty, where are you? I can't actually see you. Is Patty coming? Yes. Oh, hey, how are you doing? I'm good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> nice to see you. We'll see your picture. Yeah, I'm in Los Angeles. Yeah. Oh, you don't show off. <laughs> 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 what time is it? Uh, it's around noon, and I'm with a two-year-old, so oh. it's a little noisy here. But, oh. um, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, maybe the two-year-old could probably join in as well. <laughs> well, I'm hoping. <laughs> he's very creative. Is this your grandson? No, he's one of my neighbors. Oh, no. Are you just looking after him or is he just put round? I'm just watching him today because it's a holiday here, and Dad... Um, is a good friend and client of mine and he uh, oh. had a tennis match that he needed to attend and mom is away on business so anyway here we are <laughs> all right well i'm gonna switch you over um oggy so okay. uh, make host so that's okay there you go so is that that's still recording isn't it Unless I think so, it hasn't said it stopped, has it? No, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's still recording. Okay, yes, right, so. okay, it should be all right. Then. Okay. So, uh, just to introduce myself, yeah. I'm Richard Ogden, but most people know me as Oggy. Um, and the reason I'm I'm here doing this is mainly because, um, I actually got a logo made. I went to Fiverr, I don't know if anyone's heard of the site, but Fiverr spelt with a double R on the end. Um, and I had someone make me yeah. a logo. And I'll just show you what they came back with. I mean, this guy was really good. I'll put his details in the chat. Mama. Uh, just, just so you know, um, I can't multitask, so I probably won't be watching the chat. If you have any questions, I'll give you an opportunity to ask as we go through. Um but please don't expect me to keep looking at the chat because I just um, I won't be able to focus on it. But what I'll do is I'll put this okay, guy's details. Okay, in can the I sorry? Chat. Can I just interrupt you just to say, Patty? Can you put your thing back on on mute? Um, you know, I'm on my phone and I'm and I was trying to figure out how to do that. So if you go to on the bottom of the screen, there's a microphone, and if you um, so on the, there's a menu bar just at the bottom. Can you see that? Uh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, thank you. Okay, and I'll and I'll mute myself now as well. Right. Okay. So I've just I've just put the um, the details of the guy that made my logos. Um, if you go to Fiverr and search for him on there, this is you know if this is the kind of thing you're after. But I am going to show you how to make logos on on the site that I'm showing you. Um, but this is this is how I all how this all started. So I'll just share my screen. I'll show you what he came back with. So can you all see that? That's um, this is the logo that I use. But he actually provided me with three. So this is the um, this is the pin copy which you can put on things as, and it, it cuts the background off. And he also did um, the 3D ones. So um, this, was, this was my least likely option that I was going to pick. And the other ones were this. And the 3D image looks like that. And then there were this. So I'd asked him to create me a logo. Obviously charged me for that, but he gave me three to choose from. But he gave me all three, should I say. And then what I did was put them out in the Facebook groups and um, ask people which they preferred. And most people, I had to go with the majority and they picked the, the one that I thought were least likely. It's the one I liked the least. But I thought I'd go with it everywhere because everyone else liked it. Um, then he also said to me that he, he did um, animations, logo animations, and he did me a sample. Uh, and I ended up buying one of them. Uh, this was the second. And there's also a longer one. I think, um, 
I think he he had one price for for those two I've just shown you, and then he had another price for this individually. Now that one actually reminded me of um, like some off X Factor or something like that, and it got me to thinking there must be a, it must have a program where you can just put any logo in and it'll it'll put it on that sort of um, format on that design. So then I started searching for um, logo animations, creating your own, and that's when I found Render Forest. So. Has everyone got a logo or are they wanting to create a logo? Is there any, just by a show of hands, is there anyone that doesn't have a logo? Right, okay. Right. So we'll, we will go, I'll go through every, every part of it. But like I say, there's, the logo section is quite limited. So if you are wanting a, something a bit more professional, like I say, this guy is really good and it was really easy to get on with. But just so you know, that whole package there that I've shown you, I probably paid just over £200 for. So it started off with the logos, which I think were um, between 60 and £80. Pound. And then, obviously, it's progressed from there. I just got sucked into it all. Um, but, I mean, if you want to follow along with this, if you've got the ability now, if you sign into or if you if you go online and go to renderforest.com and it'll take you to this screen. Let me just share this. Can you all see that? Right. So I'll just give you a minute. Anyone that's wanting to uh, get online, if you this is this will be the home page that you're taken to. And if you want to follow along, it is quite easy. Like I say, if you've got a logo, if you, if you know what, what file it's in, you will be able to upload it now and follow along in real time at, at what's going on. I'll show you the logo section first, so this won't really apply to you if you've already got a logo. For, for those of you that haven't, um, there's the... Uh, all the menus at the top here, if you've got a logos and just make logo. And all you do is enter your brand name. And click create logo. Like I say, everything's pretty straightforward. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to do it myself. <laughs> then it'll ask you, it asks you for a tagline and a description. Um, I suppose my tagline would probably be with change in mind. And the description, you can sort of describe the kind of things you want on the um, on the logo and it'll it it tries to sort of replicate it. I mean the the AI on this site is not brilliant. Um, so if you put in something like complex logo for hypnotherapy business with spirals or an eye, or you can put any description in you want, click next. Um, there's all the different styles that you can have, uh, but there's also a, an option to let AI pick it for you. So I'm just going to let it pick, click next. And all it does is come up with a logo, but it also puts it on items like for your branding so it gives you an idea of what it looks like on different items um and you can see down the left hand side here there's all your different options so you might find something that's a bit more suitable um i mean there will be quite a lot there if you don't find anything that is suitable you can customize it um we'll just go back 
في حاجات Right, so if I select this one, you can customize it. There's a button at the bottom there, customize. Uh, and this, you can change the text like you would with any other um, program like Word. You've got all these text options. Um, at the top there, you've got your colors, you've got your different fonts. So you can choose any font you want and resize it or whatever you need to do. Um, I, I'm assuming you all understand how to use uh, like Word and change features like text and things like that. It's it's very straightforward. Uh, you can also change your icon. So if you don't think your icon is suitable, um, you could change that for anything. There's all different um, categories like sports, services, industry, professions. Um, and you just, all you have to do is look through and find one that's maybe more suitable for you. And once you've selected what you want, like I say, you could have your tagline on there as well. There's also your color palettes. So you can change the, the colors. When it, when it generates this, it'll generate it as a, a PNG file or a ping file. And what that means is you'll be able to use it on, your, on any branding and it'll take the background off. So the, it'll have like a transparent background. So you can create it with a colored background, but if you're putting it on a branding, it'll just use the logo itself. Um, also the layout, you can have it in different ways. You swap it around to how you prefer it. And even when you've changed your palette, you can still change the background. But like I say, it'll take that off if you put it on any branding. So, Has anyone got any questions about that? I mean, that's how easy it is to create a logo. But like I say, it's oh, if you okay. want something a bit more professional, it's always it's always good to get someone involved. Okay, could you show the um because was when you did my LC hypnotherapy and um, when I tried to do it by myself, I wasn't able to remove the background. But when you did it for me, I saw it without the background and it looked much better. Can you demonstrate? Can you show? Yeah, right, no, cool. that's because did you create us on Canva? Yeah. Yeah. I can't I can't remember, but but I know that it'd be if you were able to show you show what, what you mean when you say take it, remove it from the background. Well yeah, what what it was, because you put it on, you you must have used like a JPEG file. But you can download it off Canva as a, a ping file, which is what's on your website. So I just pinched the logo off your website, which was a a, a ping file oh, anyway. Yeah. So it automatically takes the background off and just uses the logo. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, is does everyone else understand that when you're saying? Yeah, well, when I get to the logo animations, we show when people. I upload a, a file, you'll see what happens then. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So is everyone all right with the the logo? Anyone that's wanting to create a logo, you'd be able to. go through that and use it and you know i mean it, may, it might take you fine it, quite a bit of time to find the right icon you want and go through the different fonts but that's basically all this um all this website has for that sort of feature but i found that with a lot of sites you know creating your own free logo and things like that um like i said with this you can sign up for a you can have a free account and go through it but if you make the logo animations and things like that it has a they put a watermark on it um but anyone that's in this group now if they want to create anything i'll remove the watermark for you so if you come up with something whether it's a storyboard or a um a logo animation or anything like that anyone that's on this call now I'll just I'll remove the watermark for you, so you don't have to sign up to anything to get it. You know, it's, you'll get one for free. So if you're all alright with logos, I'll move on to the um, the animations. Then anim first of all, we'll animate the logo. So I'll go back to the home page. If you're online and you want to follow along, 
you just click the um, the little render forest symbol at the top left, it'll take you back to the home page. Um, from there, I just go to videos and on the drop down menu, I go to intros. So it's intros and logos that were on here. Now, there is a search feature on here and I use the search feature to find an appropriate animation when I did uh, Lara's and all, of, all I've typed in was smoke and then it, it came up with all the different smoke features so I'll show you how I did Lara's um, I believe it was this one that I used now I did have to change some colours on this so just so go through it step by step when you find one you like or you like the look of when you hover over them it shows you what it looks like um if you click on it um it'll bring this window up and all you have to do is click create now i mean you can if you press play it'll show you the with the sound and animation it shows you going to be so if you click create now all it is is it's um if you click on your logo here it'll give you some options you can upload which if it's your first time round you'll you'll have to upload your logo um and it'll take you to your files folder as long as you know where your logos are you can locate them and it'll upload them to the site I've already got files uploaded, so if I go to my files, um, and I'll just find Lara's. There we go, that's Lara's. Um, and like I said, because it's a ping file. Mm, I don't know that. Just turn Alexa off. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's a ping file, it only uses the lettering and the image. It doesn't use the background. Whereas um, Lara said she had difficulty with it, but I think what she was doing was uploading a JPEG file. It has to be a ping file for the background to be transparent. Then all you do is click, you select it, click ins insert, and then you have to size it to the um, to the frame. So there's some options here. There's fill, which keeps it as it is then this fit which will put it inside if you want to do it manual if you want it any smaller you can plus or minus on this bar here at the bottom um and then once you've got it the right size you just click done and all it'll do is insert in there like i said the background of it is transparent the the issue i had with trying to keep this original was um the lettering and the background are a very similar color. So when I when I tried it first time round, I rendered it and you couldn't see the the logo apart from the butterfly because of the background. So um all you have to do, oh first of all, there's a tagline. So all you do is enter your text in, whatever you want there. Just put don't smoke and save that so there'll be a tagline there um now the, uh, along this bar at the top where it says edit next to it's your style so if you look at your style that's your text style so you can change your fonts uh, and things like that in fact i think you can only change the font i'm not sure you can change the color uh, then when you go to color you can choose your palettes and this is where i had to change the color of things to make sure the background um, was light enough uh, to be able to see. I can't remember which one I chose, but um, I'll go with this. Then obviously there's the music. You can change the music. It always puts a, a default on um, and it's usually the most suitable. But if you wanted to change the music, there's quite a list of lots of different things you can put on and all you do to change it is 
uh, you press the X to delete the music that's already on. And then whichever one you choose, you can you can sample them by pressing play. Whichever one you choose, just click the add and it'll replace it. Um, and then once you've got it all how you want it with your colors, your text, your logos on there, uh, your music's right. If you've got a preview, it gives you some options. Now on the free account, you'll only be able to use the fast preview. Um, there is a there's three subscription options. The HD seven twenty. Um, well, if you look at the subscriptions, it'll tell you the full list of everything you get. Um, but obviously it's a low quality, but it does remove the watermarks. Um, the the subscription I've gone for you also includes a website you can make a website i'm only part way through experimenting with it at the moment i do have websites but I've, I've had a look at some of the templates and had a go with them had a play about with them um but that that option gives you a website and obviously gives you the high definition um images and everything so anyone that's wanting um a logo animation or even a storyboard, and they wanted me to remove the watermark, that's the the quality you'll have, the 1080. Um, so then, obviously, with the, the free one, you click Fast Preview. And what it does, it takes time to render it then. You don't have to stay on this screen. Um, it will send you a notification when it's done. Or alternatively, if you... You know, if you browse and you go anywhere else, if you click on your account, because you you obviously sign up for a free account, you click on your account um, and go down to videos. This is where anything that you've messed about with and, and created will, will turn up here. So that's at the top of my list there. I've got the um, smoke logo animation and it's telling me it's exporting. So it's still rendering there. Um, and these these are the list of stuff that I've already done. You'll see some, you've probably seen some of these on that Lara's put out with the promotion for a show. Uh, I hope that's going well, by the way, Lara. Um, other stuff I've made because I have a, I have my primary company is Rims and Trims. I do paint repairs, and this is. Although I don't use this, I started experimenting with stuff, and this is one of them. So there is a lot of stuff that, you know, you can make daft stuff out of them as well as being serious. But um, so while that's exporting there, while it's, while it's rendering, I'll start to show, is there any questions about any of that are you all fairly clear on how to do that yeah like i okay. said I okay there was there was a couple of questions in the chat but um yeah. Yeah, one of them you might want to do it afterwards um alison asked what the the detail of the guys who did that was she it was back when you were talking about the the logo um the details of the guy that did your logo for you yeah i put um i put his contact in the chat that's his five oh, oh you've done that oh, okay sorry yeah so but it's um the website that guy got him from is fiverr.com and it's f-i-v-e-r-r.com so it's okay. fiverr with a double r.com and it's uh it's basically a site where people offer the services and you know there's a lot of uh technical people on there that can create they'll do websites and everything but i i just wanted a, a logo making so and like i said that's the guy i dealt with there's loads of people on there but that's the guy i dealt with and it was it was very good like i say give me three um three logos when i asked for one um he also gave me the um the oh. illustrator files the files that it made oh, okay. the, the illustrator files so it was actually able to go on adobe illustrator and um adapt them because the the first the logo that i showed you or the logo that i've got up here here 
Yeah. Um, this is the square version. So I've actually moved it. The one he gave me is all on one line, Richard Ogden hypnosis. Whereas I've moved the hypnosis to the bottom so it fits on like square images better. Okay, there's actually, sorry, Augie. So everyone's saying that, and actually it's true, I can't see it. Wherever you post it, it must be on a different chat. Uh, uh, it can't be in the chat for everyone, but we can sort that out at the end. But the other thing is, Louise has said, uh, how do you how do you upload your own logo to use? Um, but yeah, no, it's not on the chat. I don't know where you put it. Is it called now? Uh, yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, that's it. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry. Maybe, maybe I didn't press send. Maybe <laughs> the old <laughs> classic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Louise has, say, has said, can you, um, how do you upload your own logo to use? Right, okay. Yeah, I'll go through that again. So, uh, videos, intros. So, right, we'll go back to, we'll go back to your logo again and uh, your thing again, smoke. Yeah, so when you go to when you go to create now and your logo here, all you do is click on that and it comes up with the menu. So if you go to upload, um can you see that window? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So this is obviously uh my files. So all you do is find the file that your logo is in. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to use this as a logo. You'd select it, open, and what it does then, it, it uploads it to, to the window, but it also puts it in your files on RenderForest, so it'll upload it to RenderForest. Is that is that clear? Yeah, okay. Right, we'll see if this is... Um, one yet no, well that's still exporting but that's that's basically how the logo animations are done now there's different ways of finding what you want or even coming up with ideas because um when i started out uh looking for things i just went through the uh, intros and logos i went through and just looking at everything and seeing whether i liked the look of it uh, so just by hovering over them, you can see what's going on. Um, and the ones that interested me, like this is this is one of the first one that I chose. So I like the look of this. It's like exploring. I thought, oh, that looks quite good. Then you can, when you click on it, you can you can take a sample and make sure you know, hear the sound and everything. And then what I did were sort of adapted my tagline to suit obviously I uploaded my logo uh, and just created a tagline to suit the um the actual video itself the animation and it should be my file so I'll show you what it is rather than um trying to put it in again there's no point re-uploading it Oh, it's here, look. So, yeah, if I play that. It's an imagination to move mountains. So it would just... Whatever suited the animation. I mean, I've got the Rubik's Cube logo here. Um, again, just the tagline to suit. So using imagination to find solutions. So it is quite good when you go through them. You get quite a, a bit of inspiration as you as you see them. You sort of sort of get a few ideas on what to put, breaking mental boundaries. You know, so just you can just take your inspiration from whatever you're seeing. So that's one way of going through them. Like I said, there's the search option. If you know what kind of thing you're looking for, you put a search in and because there is a lot to go through. There is a lot there. 
if you if you were to go through them all, it'd take you quite a while. I mean, it's page 14, you're getting your Christmas stuff up. So even if you want to animate a logo for Christmas and, you know, there's, there's plenty on there for all different occasions and any sort of trade, really. Uh, but like Picture. I say, if you do want to go through them uh, and you find something you like, you know, you don't have to create it tonight and I'll remove the watermark. Take your time and, and play with it. See what you like, whether you want a logo or storyboard, and then come back to me. And I'm quite happy to, you know, do that for now. Like, say you you want the question generate it in here in HD, but if you get back to me with your logo and what you want, I'll just I'll make it for you. Not a problem. I think Adri Adriana's got a question. Is that right? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I haven't got too far into Canva. I did a, a year subscription and I haven't got too far into the animations. Can you tell me what is different? What makes this, you know, I'm, I'm looking at a, you know, potentially a, a subscription here and watching my funds a little bit. Um, so it, it, is this something that Canva doesn't offer or this is better? What is your take on this? Um, it's It's different to Canva. Canva is, uh, you can create a lot of things, you can create a lot of images. I've not really gone into the animation side. I mean, Lara can probably tell you more about that. You've created some animated stuff or some some video reels. I don't know exactly what how you do that. Um, I've created images on Canva. Uh, I've only got the free version. I've not bought into it. So, um, and it's, I mean, looking at Lara's, um logo it, it may even be better for your logos you know creating your own logos there's a there's a bit more flexibility with what you can put on there and what you can do and you can download them as a a ping file so it, it cuts the background off anyway um so yeah, yeah. Um, like i say as far as as far as logos go this is quite limited but the animations um are quite good and i'm not sure you can do that with canva yeah, that's what I said, because um, I would agree. So when I was looking through logos after, you know, you showed me Render Forest, what I, f what I found was that the actual logo, the, the creating of the logos themselves were pretty unimaginative. So, you know, this is a bit shit, yeah, actually. Yeah. Um, have, having said that, because you can see when you look at Oggy's very simple logo, that suddenly when you put it in the background of an ice breaking, or it becomes immense and epic, doesn't it? They're very, something very simple. So I think that's where it's a strength. I don't think, because I did a little test, and Augie was we had a joke that he was saying I was being competitive. But I put the I put my Canva video out against one that he did just to see, and actually I got better feedback with my Canva video. But I don't think that's so much about the videos because of what I was trying to sell was a night with the people performing, and that video had more of that element in in it. Um, but so I think yeah, it's really careful. You don't want to be subscribed to everything, but I can't. Honestly, you say I, I would want to do without Canva because Canva is massively flexible for stuff like posters and flyers. And I did the best flyer I've ever done on Canva. And it looks amazing. You, you can't really do that on this. However, when you can see that how great that that logo is and how impactful that is, you know, it, it is. You know, I think it's probably it's probably a great thing if you can have both. I haven't I haven't actually got gone for the subscription myself yet either, um, but I probably will. Uh, just putting off paying more money right now for anything. But that's it. I mean, I'm not I'm not demonstrating this here, so you'll subscribe to it. Uh, I am offering to take the watermarks off for you, so you don't have to subscribe. I mean, I've there's no affiliate links from me to buy into this. You know, I'm not selling Render Forest. All the pure act. You know, people are curious about what I'm doing, so I'm just explaining it. And but also at the same time, I offer to. I'll I'll make one for you, so you don't have to subscribe to it. You know that's that's the reason behind it. Thank you. That's really generous. All right. Right. So everyone understands. I mean that, like I say, it is pretty basic and straightforward how to create them. I mean, it's just finding what you want, putting the right tagline on, and there's there's so much to choose from, and that's just the logo animations. 
if you're all all right with that, I'll move on to the storyboards. But let's uh, let's just see if this is rendered first. Right. So this is ready to play now. <laughs> So there you go. You can see how straightforward it was to put it together, and that's that's what it came up with. So you can see it is quite effective once it's there. And it's it's as simple as putting your logo in, put a tagline on, and then you know generate it. The sound was already there. You can change it if you like. You can change the the font if you like. But I mean, the ones I've made, I've just kept them as standard. Put my logo in, put a tagline in, and it's generated straight away. It's, you know, to actually create it yourself is, you know, you can do it in less than a minute, but obviously you have to wait for it to render. But, you know, that doesn't take any more time. You can be doing other things while it's doing that. So I'll move on to uh, the storyboards, which are like this. Type of thing. So you can see it's, you know, they're a nice little storyboard, but there's there's lots of different types as well. So if you're following along to go to get to the storyboards, if you've got a video and then animations. So you've got things like this. That the one you've just seen is from the 3D toolkit. Uh, as you can see, there's a thousand scenes on there. So there's plenty of scenes to choose from to make it. Um, you've got your trendy explainer toolkit, 1100 scenes, and there's lots of different options. And some of the ones I've used for some of Lara's, um, the event teaser that had 90 scenes. So, you know, you at the same time, you're adding images and videos, if you like, onto different things. Um, all I'll do is I'll demonstrate with the 3D toolkit. All you do is click on it to select it. And this is the video that we're on about, Lara. It's got a bit of an explainer here, but it's 25 minutes long. So it does go through a bit of bump and, um, you know, it tells you you can do this easily, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't get through much of it, to be fair. But if you click on Create Now, so again, uh, there's different ways of creating them. So let's just go to storyboards. I've got a few notes. Yeah, so you've got different ways. You can find a topic and scan through. So there's a lot of templates here already. So, and it tells you what they are, you know, success story sample. I've actually used that myself and changed. You just change what's in the frames. You can also change the frames if you want. I'll, I'll show you in a, in a moment how to do that. But as you look through, you can see there's a, a lot of different templates. And if you find something that's sort of suitable to the story you wanted to make, you can just use that. So, for instance, we'll use this as an example. But uh, this is how a, this is how this storyboard looks. Um, and. I'm not going to go through it all because it's a minute and a half long, but it basically goes through a story of Abraham Lincoln. It's like, yeah, that my childhood. Um, and you can see there's all the different scenes as it gives you the text. Uh, and it's just, just sort of an explainer video. So you can edit this template. So you've got a base to start with. Um, and it, at the bottom, you can see all the frames. So it, you know, the first frame, you click on it, there's the text that's in it. 
Um, and this is the um, character. If you hover over it, it shows you what the character does. And you can swap that out if you want. So obviously, even if it's a, it's a male version of what you wanted to do, you can swap it out. You click on the three dots. Um, you can either duplicate it, which will add another frame exactly the same, or replace it. When you replace it, it gives you the list of all the um, different frames you can use, and it starts with replacements, something it suggests that you could replace it with. Um, but if you went for female characters, it tells you what they're doing. But if you hover over them, it shows you the animation so you can see what they do. Um, and there's quite a selection. It's just a matter of going through and finding one that you feels appropriate. Um, and if you select it and then replace, it'll swap that frame out. It keeps the same text unless you change the text. Um, and you can go all the way through the storyboard. You can swap frames over. So if you grab it and drag it, it'll swap the frames into a different order. There's a little bar at the bottom so you can scan through how many frames there are. Um, and I found doing it this way is um, probably not the most efficient way to do it, unless you've got a very similar story to the template that you've picked. Uh, it can be quite, you know, difficult fitting it all in. You end up deleting a few frames. You can delete them with the bin. You end up deleting some or trying to add others in, replacing quite a few of them. So, like I said, there's templates there. And we'll go back to, if I can. Right. Go back to where all the templates are. But you'll see there's others. You can start from scratch. So you start with a totally blank board and you add the frames. You obviously add the frames and add the text as you go along. Um, and there's also the option to type a story, which is quite, quite good. So I'll show you that option now. Right, so if I paste the story in there. So you put your story in. If you if you separate it, what you think you want on each frame, and then generate a project, it'll show you how many frames there are going to be. So there's eight frames for this one. Generate project. And what it'll do is select what it believes is appropriate. Now, you may think you can find, well, you may be able to find better frames for it. So let's type the first one. My name is Richard Ogden and everyone knows me as Oggy. Yeah. Uh, and this guy's just stood there. That's that's fine. It's appropriate for that. The second one, I like using my imagination to create things. Um, I mean, that's quite, quite an appropriate one, but it could be swapped out. Um, like I said, there's a lot to go through. So it could be swapped out with maybe uh, someone making something rather than just thinking about something. But I'll keep that for now. I'll keep that for now. The next one, some of my creations cause some interest. Uh, I'll keep that. People start to ask how they could do the same. I'll swap that out. Um, and we've got, you see down the left-hand side, there's all the different categories of free frames. So if I go to casual group characters, um, conversation between man and woman, seems more appropriate. Uh, the next frame, I have no idea what that's about. So without thinking, I offered to help. So I'll replace that. Uh, again, I'll go for... Um, what have we got? Uh, 
Yeah, we'll stick with casual groups. Ah, there we go, handshake, I agreed. Uh, before I knew it, I was on a Zoom call, blagging my way through a workshop. So I'll swap that out. I'll just go for male characters. Sorry, my mouse is playing up. Everyone seemed to enjoy it. I even got a round of applause. That's, uh, you know, you've got to be hopeful, haven't you? Always think positive for the future. Um, so, yeah, I'll keep that one. And always here to help. Now, they've also got um, logo animations within this. So... So such as this, it'll ask you to put your logo in. You just click on it, go to your files, or upload if you haven't done already. Stick your logo in, insert. Make sure it's the right size inside this frame. Click done. And it says always here to help. So that's basically that story. That storyboard has just been created there. You can change the styles. A 3D look or a flat look. Um, transitions. You've got the way it changes between each frame. So you can change that out. Or you can have no transitions at all. It just goes from one frame to another. You can change your colour schemes again. Um, if you don't want the colour schemes they've got, you can use custom colours. Uh, and again, the music with this, with the storyboards, it doesn't actually add one because you've created the story. So it doesn't really know. With the templates, it will have some music there because they've created a template. Um, but it's just a matter of going through whatever you like. And... <laughs> come up with something you like you know you like the sound of you think it's suitable for it um then all you do is click the plus button and it adds the music in then you've got a preview again you'll you'll just select the fast preview because you'll be a free account and you can just take and you can do this as much as you want with the free account but like i say it's got a a watermark on it so if you go through it and play with it find something you like and then get back to me when you're happy with something I'll, I'll happily just take the watermark off for you so is there any questions about the storyboards Richard so, yeah. sorry could yeah. you could you show me how how you did put your your script in again I couldn't I missed that bit yeah, sorry, I, I did go through that a little bit fast. I, I actually copy and pasted the, the script. So um, so if you've got videos, animations, you go to whichever toolkit you want, um, they'll all they'll all have the same features, I think. We'll just we'll go to whiteboard just to make sure. Yeah, type your story. Yeah, so you click on that. And you just type your story out inside this box. I copy and pasted mine just so I'm not, you know, you're not sat waiting for me to write out all this story. But um, so I've just put it in different lines. So for each frame, I've separated each line for what I want on each frame. Yeah. So I've written the story out. So if you've if you've got a story you want to tell and you you think you want a, a frame for each section. Because each frame will only take so many characters and it depends on the frame itself how many characters it'll take. Um, and if you push it too far, 
you could you could also adjust the time frame on the um on each frame i'll just i'll show you with this one i'll go through it again i forgot to mention this sorry but you can see there's a scene duration there can you see where my icon is and it says 10 seconds now, if you click on that to edit it, you can adjust the time that that frame stays on. Yeah, so if you've put a, a lot of writing on, you want it to stay on a little bit longer. So um, for this one, my name is Richard Ogden, everyone knows me as Oggy. Uh, 10 seconds is probably adequate. Um, again, you can. there's other things you can change on this one, text position but like i say if you if you just look around each screen you'll be able to see um the video duration for this is one minute 14 but it may alter if you alter the time scale on each frame you know so if you changed it to 13 seconds but it's just what you feel might be appropriate for the amount of writing you've put on you can see where the writing is it says 54 from 148 characters so the 148 characters is advised. If you go over that, um, it may be a little bit too much. You, and you'll, you will definitely have to extend the time. But depending on how much you put on there, obviously it depends how long it takes people to read it. You don't want it disappearing too fast. But then again, you don't want it sat there too long. You know, people just, well, I've read that. I'm waiting for something else to happen. So, um, and it does that on each frame. You know, it will ad advise you on how many characters and different different um, frames might have different durations. See, that's only six seconds. But you can alter them, like I say. You so is that, yeah. is that a little better for you? Yeah, thank you. That's brilliant. Right. Uh, is there any other questions on that? You're all okay with that. But like I say, it's, I mean, this is just me playing about with it. I'm not an expert on this. Uh, it's just, like I say, I thought there must be something out there. When I got the animated logos and that, that I paid for, I thought there must be a program that just, it must just have a program that does it. I wonder if there's anything out there. And this is when I found this. Uh, and it's just a matter of messing about with it. I'm no expert on it. I've been putting stuff out there. People seemed interested in it. So, you know, Lara said I should do a workshop on it. And here I am. So, yeah, thank you very much. I, I hope That's it's probably, helped you all. Yeah, thank you. It's amazing. It's really great. So, you can do, like, if I do, I haven't had a go at doing an animation, you can take the watermark off that as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. If, you, if you'd rather have an animation, uh, if you'd rather have a, a storyboard, but like I say, even we are, Lara, them, them promotional things. Yeah. Um, you know, there's videos you can insert into it. Um, I will go, I'll show you now, but this this is wasn't intended to demonstrate these, but um, the video editing. So the event teaser is one that I used for yours. Uh, and I just I just started from scratch, I think, with this one. Um, but you can see with it, it tells you what they are. So this is an image with two texts in the center. So that that image there would actually be replaced with the image that you put into it. And then the text would come up just like that. Um, there are videos as well. So video holders. So such as this, the video, uh, they do also have, I'll just show you. If you're trying to make something and you don't have the footage you need, when you click on the vid your video here, they also have stock footage. So you can go through any videos they have and insert them. Um, and a I did actually use their stock footage for one of my um, animations. I'll show you that. Just so you sort of get a feel for what it is. This one. 
<clears throat> so this one for anxiety. This is all their stock footage, but we've obviously I've written the text. So that's just using their video for well their their images, but it's their stock footage. Um, I'm not sure you'd be able to use them. Well, I'm not hundred percent sure you'd be able to use them on the free one. There may be some you can use. Um, let's just have a look through. It does usually tell you the ones with the crown on. Uh, you need a subscription for that's the premium. Uh, the ones without. Um, you can actually use for the free demo. So I'm not 100% sure if you can actually do a free preview of the ones that need a subscription. If there's any that you find that you like the look of um, and you want them demonstrate, and if you let me know what they are and, and what you want in, I'll generate them for you so you can see them whether you want them or not. You know, if you if you see it after and think actually it's not not something I want. It doesn't you might really find matter. yourself very busy, Augie. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I quite enjoy doing it to be oh, fair. Absolutely. And like I say, once I get on them, it doesn't take me that long. And it's okay. if I'm sat watching paint dry at work, I'd rather be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They said I'm gonna stop the recording. I'm starving. Right. I'm gonna go and eat some dinner as well. <laughs> that's what I'm yeah, doing. but yeah, like I say, that's about it anyway. So you know, I don't want to uh, take too much of your time. But like I said, just experiment with it. Uh, if you get back to me, either either directly to me or through Lara, either way, um, and I'll do what I can for you. That's brilliant. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Um, You're welcome. I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll download this to YouTube and then I'll put the link in the group uh, right. for everyone, for the recording. It's such a, I'm, you know, obviously I've been recording it for other people that asked for it, but actually it's an obvious thing to record because then we can all go back and look at what you've explained to us yeah. anyway when we've forgotten thank you it's amazing really okay that was brilliant thank you so much i'm quite excited I'm, i want to buy it immediately me too yeah <laughs> that's brilliant <laughs> yeah you. we know what you'll be doing for the rest of the night now. <laughs> yeah that's me for the yeah. weekend then <laughs> well, no, I'm glad, I'm glad yes. you enjoyed it i hope i ain't confused you too much and uh no, that's that's brilliant. Great. Thank, you. thank you that's really really good you're all welcome yeah Thank you nice so meeting you. Right. Take care, everyone, then. Yeah, I'll see have you a lovely day. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks Bye. a lot. Thanks see for organising, Lara. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you, Lara. Thanks, Lara. You can't shut it down, can you, Lara? You've got, I've got control. <laughs> You'll have to take control back off me. That's what it is. You're muted. Can't hear you. <laughs> I was being so funny as well. You missed all my time. <laughs> <laughs> well, being muted and talking is funny in itself, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, I couldn't work out how to um, stop the record. I still can't work out how to stop the recording. No, because you you can now. You weren't in control. Oh, oh that's right. It's that old hat. <laughs> Just not. Right, okay. Uh okay, that's brilliant. That was brilliant, Augie. Augie. Thank you so much for that. It was no you're really welcome. Good. Uh that record. Ask Augie permission to record oh, what? Ask Richard Augie for permission to record to my device. All oh, right, right. Can oh, it's recorded to cloud, isn't it? Yeah, but I've got to ask to record to my device. Can you give me permission? Yeah. I've, I've sent requests. Right, I've sent requests. Allow right. recording. Yeah, we've got it. We've got okay. It. A few. I think, oh, I don't want to sabotage that because actually it's a really, really good thing. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's quite a lot, isn't it, to uh, to do? To sort of, yeah, and it's hard, it's hard because obviously I'm just, I'm going through it and I know what I'm doing and then... It's whether people are keeping up. I don't. I, I, 
I, I forget that I'm telling people who are just like, oh yeah, this is how you do it. Look. No, I think you're doing very well actually. I think you, you know, I think you took it at a really good pace. I think you were really quite thorough and quite slow. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, it is all pretty straightforward. I mean, the only time it gets a bit more complex that like that event teaser pack when you're putting videos in yeah and... yeah yeah but then people just have to play around with it really don't yeah. you I mean, it's well, like... that's yeah that's it yeah okay so have you have you given me permission yeah i've done that right, let me try and see if it happens now when i press record okay yeah recording to my okay recording stop Okay, I think that I really hope this that I got that. That was great. All right, I'm only gonna get something to eat. <laughs> have yeah. you had dinner? Yeah, we've had it. We have had quite early because of the girls. Because you knew you've been organized, All right? Yeah, well, <laughs> they they tend to eat about half past four because they go to bed by six o'clock. Oh, of course, yeah, you're little, they're really little. Yeah. yeah. All right, listen, good night. Have a lovely weekend. Yeah, thank you for thank that. You. No, no, thank you. That was great. All right. Bye. All right, bye. take care. Bye, bye. I, oh, I forgot to ask, how's the show going? Anyway, how was the promotion for the show? Got, going? I think we've got, I think we've got 50 people already and uh, we've still got two weeks. Oh, that's all right. Good. Yeah, it's all right. How many does the venue hold? 130. Right. I don't think we'll have, I think, I reckon we'll have between 60 or 70. That's what I reckon. We'll see. But that would be good. I'll 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 see if I can put some more together and throw yeah, some yeah. out there and put one together. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Not good me putting them out. I'm invisible anyway. <laughs> no one will see them. <laughs> oh yeah. It was all the same. It's just like all these stuff just goes around the same forty people, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and none of them live near you. So <laughs> no, like... no, that's just a bit pointless, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, all right. Speech. All right, soon. thank you very much. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye bye. Take care.